This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by the digital release of Brad Pitt's Ad Astra. Marvel's Kevin Feige reveals new updates to the MCU's Phase 4. Brazil's Comic-Con experience was this past weekend, and it was everything that nerds and fans of pop culture could possibly want in one place. They got a trailer for Wonder Woman 1984, they got a first look at Ghostbusters Afterlife, and they got a massive showing from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, courtesy of Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige, including updates about Phase 4 and beyond, but not the Beyonder. So what did Kevin Feige say exactly? Well, we're going to break it all down right now. Now, first up, fans of the Marvel panel got their first look at some footage from The Eternals. It's going to be the next MCU movie after May's Black Widow. He acknowledged that a majority of the audience might not be aware of the team, similar to how many were introduced to Guardians of the Galaxy back in the 2014 film, but that lack of awareness about The Eternals also translates onto the screen as well, with Feige revealing to fans and news outlets, The Eternals know about the existence of the Avengers, the Avengers don't know much about the Eternals. Yet, Celestials are a big part of it. You've seen a little of the Celestials in Gardens of the Galaxy. Nowhere is the severed head of a Celestial. We will see the Celestials in their full, true, enormous power in the Eternals. No severed heads, though? I'm out of here! But wait, there's more. He also had a lot to say about the upcoming MCU series for Disney Plus as well. On top of showing off some new photos of the Falcon and Bucky show that's currently filming, he reportedly revealed that She-Hulk, Ms. Marvel, and Moon Knight shows will all be ready by next year. And if this is true, this hopefully means we're going to be getting some casting news awfully soon. Now, we know there were previously leaks about auditions for Ms. Marvel, so the process is definitely underway if these roles haven't already secretly been decided. This also means that, to account for post-production time, these shows are close to being ready to start shooting or are already shooting in secret. If we had to guess, we'd suspect that we're going to hear a great deal more about these properties somewhere between WonderCon in the spring and Comic-Con in the summer. But wait, there's more more! One of the other things that really got con-goers excited is the confirmation of something that fans, including Kevin Feige, have been wanting to see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for quite some time now, multiversal shenanigans. According to the folks at comicbook.com, Feige said, I always wanted to do time travel, which we finally got to do in Endgame. The multiverse is the next step in the evolution of the MCU, and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is going to crack it open in ways that'll have repercussions for a Disney Plus series before it that's not WandaVision, and for movies after it in a big, fun way. Now, this ties into reports that Loki will also dip his toes into the multiverse in addition to the upcoming WandaVision series, which will directly tie into the Doctor Strange sequel. Now, knowing that multiple series and movies could tie into how the multiverse is explored in the MCU sounds like a pretty great way to really open things up for different types of stories in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, it also means we're going to have to get used to saying the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse instead of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yikes. But wait, there's more. I know. I know. The ghost of Billy Mitchell. Anyway, the final bit of news that really stoked the fires of fan speculation is when Foggy said this. The MCU is all interconnected, but we really focus on one movie at a time. He went on to say, then yes, it's always fun to see them come together in a master plan, which I promise you is well underway. Ho ho ho! Crossover alert! So what does this mean for the future of Marvel movie team-ups? Well, it's not clear if this new Avengers-style team-up could be a loose adaptation of a comic book event similar to Avengers Infinity War, or if it could be a brand spanking new story. Now, it's hard to speculate on this too much, especially when you consider the added wrinkle of how mutants are going to be introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Maybe the multiverse is the answer to all of these questions. We'll just have to wait and see. But whatever happens, it's comforting for us to know that Feige and company have a plan. But what do you folks think? What new bit of Marvel news has you the most stoked? And what kind of new crossover event do you want to see? Something from the comics or something completely new? Personally, I want like Doom War or Secret Wars. Give me that interdimensional Game of Thrones with the God King, Doctor Doom. I just want to see Latveria. And were you one of the fans who say that you knew about the Eternals or Guardians of the Galaxy before they became a thing? Are you lying? Are you trying to sound cool? Because it's working. Let's discuss. Thanks again to Ad Astra for sponsoring today's episode. Join Nerdist's own Kyle Anderson, Marquia McCarty, and Dr. Moo as they watch Brad Pitt embark on a dangerous mission and fight for survival in a viewing party of the sci-fi epic Ad Astra. To get in on the fun, get your digital copy of Ad Astra on the Apple TV app and watch alongside them at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday, December 13th. You can also join the conversation on Twitter by following along with the hashtag Ad Astra and at Ad Astra Movie. We'll see you there.